Do you recall Adam's blunder in the Garden of Eden? When God just had to kick Adam and Eve out of the Garden of Eden because they disobeyed him? Well, to keep the Tree of Life safe, he had to appoint guards to the Garden of Eden. You are aware that after eating the fruit from the Tree of the Knowledge of Good and Evil, Adam and Eve became wiser. They now have understanding of things and can take decisions for good or evil. The situation now is more fluid, because they might now seek to pull a fast one on God by pretending to have left the garden and coming back only when God is not around. What will befall the tree of life is something you can envision. And if they had succeeded in eating the fruit of life, they will have the ability to live forever. That means if they chose to be evil, then the evil that is being perpetrated by the devil today will just be like a child's play. But God, in all of his great wisdom, set up a fail-safe safeguard to prevent such a thing from occurring. He designated an angel to watch over the Garden of Eden, and I will be discussing this angel in this video. This chief guardian angel that God appointed as the head of the security in the Garden of Eden was Angel Uriel. The magnificent guardian angel Uriel is the subject of this video, not Adam and Eve. There are good and bad angels still moving in the spiritual realm in this world. The bad angels are mostly fallen angels that are now doing the bidding of the devil as demons. Others are still with God protecting the world from the evils of this fallen angels. One of such is Uriel. A long time ago, Uriel, Raphael, and Gabriel were present before God to give testimony on behalf of humanity, according to the entirety of the Book of the Watchers. They want to pray for help from God during the rule of the fallen Gregory, the fallen Watchers. The Nephilim are the descendants of these fallen who married human women and had half-angel, half-human children. Noah was informed of the impending great flood by Uriel. Then the Most High, the Holy and Great One spoke and told Uriel to go to Noah and tell him in my name to hide thyself. He also told Uriel to reveal to Noah the end that is coming, that the entire earth will be destroyed, and that a deluge is about to come upon the entire earth and will wipe out everything that is on it. Uriel addresses the destiny of the Nephilim and the fallen ones, especially Samiazah and Azazel, after judgment has been meted out to them. Here shall stand the angels who have joined themselves with women, and their spirits taking on many different forms are defiling mankind and shall lead them astray into sacrificing to demons as gods. Here shall they stand, until the day of the great judgment in which they shall be judged until they are made an end of. For the rest of the Book of Watchers, Uriel serves as Enoch's guide. In several of the other books that make up Enoch, he serves in this capacity. Many of the writings that make up the Book of Enoch, which claims to be written by Enoch, make reference to Uriel. Only four angels are identified by name in Chapter 9 of the Book of the Watchers, 2nd century BC. Michael, Uriel, Raphael, and Gabriel are those angels, though some versions have a fifth angel, Suriel or Suriel. However, the names and roles of seven angels are listed in Chapter 20, which comes later. These angels include Raphael, Rugel, Michael, Sarakiel, Gabriel, and Ramiel as well as Uriel, one of the holy angels, who is over the universe and above Tartarus. This archangel is also regarded as the angel who keeps watch over thunder and fear, and he is the angel of repentance. The cherub that assisted in burying Adam and Abel in the Garden of Eden is thought to be Uriel. Angel Uriel is a multitasking angel who completed numerous tasks from the time of creation to the book of Revelation. For instance, it is said that Angel Uriel was the one who sent the angel of death during the time of Moses, or at the very least, he was reported to be the angel in charge of inspecting the Israelites' doorposts during the plagues in Egypt for the mark of the blood of the Lamb. Either he slaughtered the Egyptian firstborn, or he served as a precursor to the angel of death who completed the task. Angel Uriel has always been linked to grave situations. For instance, he does a wonderful job of maintaining and watching over the Garden of Eden. The bottomless pit, which is described in the book of Revelation as the location where demons would be imprisoned in the end times, is said to be where Uriel, an angel, keeps the keys. He is very skilled at guarding, which is why this is said about him. Uriel is described as a seraph, 
a cherub, a regent of such, and the flame of God in carrying out judgments because of his multitasking abilities. He is also credited with being the angel who distributes God's presence in the present time. Uriel is thought to be the angel who rules over Tyrannus, a term for hell, in addition to being known as the angel of choice. Although the demon in control of hell is often thought to be Beelzebub, Angel Uriel has several titles, but the one that means the most to me is that of the Angel of Salvation because it is this role that will give humans life. He is well known in the Russian Orthodox faith, which regards him as one of the seven main archangels, and is acknowledged as the fourth archangel in the Anglican Church. In esoteric medieval European literature, he is also highly recognized. Uriel is also referred to be an archangel of wisdom and a master of knowledge. Angel Uriel always appears as the angel carrying the ancient scrolls of the scriptures and is portrayed as the angel of the arts. The angel who deciphers predictions is thought to be Uriel. He gave Enoch and Ezra interpretations of their prophecies, but he didn't just stop there. He also assisted them in fulfilling the prophecies so that they may carry out God's will for their life. According to Ethiopian Orthodox iconography, the angel Uriel saw as Jesus Christ was crucified on the cross of Calvary. According to legend, the angel Uriel used his wings to fill a cup with the blood and water that spilled from the body of Jesus Christ. After giving the cup to angel Michael, he and Michael used the blood to spray all over Ethiopia in order to find the best locations for churches there. As a prominent angel, Uriel is consistently grouped with Michael and Gabriel in the same category. He is categorized, for instance, as one of the four wind angels. He is the angel in charge of the southern winds, while Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel are in charge of the east, west, and north, respectively. Uriel is now one of the top earthly guardians as a result. This is comparable to the Jewish medieval book of the Raziel, which identified Uriel as one of the four winds angels. Angels Uriel, Raphael, and Gabriel are said to have pleaded with God in the Book of the Watchers, specifically the Book of Enoch, to intervene to protect the planet and people from the evil that the fallen angels and their progeny were allegedly committing on it. God made the decision to use a flood to purge the earth of evil as a result of their influence. After their encounter with God, the angel Uriel was assigned the mission to travel to earth and warn Noah about the coming deluge that will destroy everything on earth. The angel Uriel warned Noah of the upcoming flood and instructed him on how to protect himself, his family, and some animals for the afterlife from the tragedy. Noah was informed by the angel Uriel of the judgment that would soon befall the planet as a result of the deeds of the fallen angels and their progeny. Being a typical guardian angel, Uriel did not simply give God's message to Noah and disappear. Rather, he stayed assisting Noah as he built the ark until the flood descended upon the planet. This is feasible due to the fact that Angel Uriel started his guiding career in the Garden of Eden, as I mentioned at the opening of this video. Other significant qualities of Uriel include his role as a preserver of beauty and a giver of light. In some Episcopal churches, he also serves as the ruler of the sun and other stars. Uriel is pictured in Greek mythology as the angel of the Greek Ionic columns to represent his perfection in terms of human-made art and aesthetics. Another account of the angel Uriel exists, and this one has a decidedly evil appearance. The demon Uriel was believed to have assisted Yaldabaoth, a divinity regarded as wicked and the architect of the material universe who believed he was the one that created Adam, is supposed to be under the power of Uriel. The majority of angels recorded in the Hebrew Bible and other sacred texts lack names. The Jews only started giving the angels specific names once they had learned from their time spent in exile in Babylon. All of the other angels described in the Bible, aside from Michael and Gabriel, were not identified by name, not even Angel Raphael, one of the most well-known archangels. In the Book of Tobit, he is simply briefly mentioned. After the angels Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael, Uriel is typically the fourth angel to be addressed. Angel Phanuel, the angel who urged sinners to repent, is occasionally mistaken for Angel Uriel. But nah, 
he is different from Angel Uriel. And the difference between Angel Uriel and Fanuel will be discussed in another video. What do you think about the Angel Uriel? Is he anything to rejoice over? Thank you for support.